Recently, Lenovo, one of the most famous PC producers, released their first gaming phone, the Legion Pro. It's not the first time for the brand to produce smartphones. However, most of them have proved to be failed efforts. So it gave up on the regular mobile market and turned to mobile gaming. The Legion Pro in our hands is their first attempt. It is ambitious and powerful. The Game Focus Legion series is one of the most successful product lines in PC gaming, and Lenovo tried to copy the success from their gaming PC into gaming phones, which is really a smart move as most traditional producers of gaming equipment are not able to integrate their resources into the new gaming field. Well, except for the brand ROG. These two brands have quite a lot in common. For example, both of them are successful in the field of PC gaming hardware. Both have collected a wide group of loyal users and both released their Snapdragon 865 Plus models recently, Lenovo Legion Pro and ROG Phone 3. We will bring you a detailed video to compare their gaming performance in the next few days. Please subscribe to Gizmo China and keep checking in on the channel. Gaming focus is coming. But today, let's focus on the Lenovo's Legion Pro. At the first glance, this phone is definitely a unique model with one of the strangest designs. Even though we compare it with all the other gaming models, it's still the one that has the most aggressive design. It's nothing strange when we looked at its front face, but turn it around and you will see the dual cameras are placed at the central area nearby the lighted Legion logo, which is pretty strange. And accordingly, it's not difficult to know that the cameras were not given a high priority. Besides, the selfie camera is also located at the back with a pop-up mechanism, which, as claimed, is mainly designed for those mobile gamer streamers who want to show their figures as streaming games. And both sides are covered with a special material for anti-slip and heat blocking design as hand holding. The inside design is also interesting as the phone is equipped with two 3000 mAh batteries, which is located at both sides where your fingers touch. The motherboard loading heated chips just perfectly avoids the hand sensible sides. It's also able to guarantee a comfortable temperature sensed by your hands while playing games, but we may feel the heat if we hold it during battery charging. In regards to the actual heat problem, we will show you the results later. But meanwhile, the dual batteries also bring a good message for charging. The phone can be charged with an amazing 90 watt efficiency. The phone supports two full function USB-C ports. It also allows users to charge the separated batteries through these two charging ports with up to a 45 watt charging efficiency respectively at the same time. So we can see there are two charging cables and a dual output charger in the phone box. By the way, to impress users during the first unboxing, Lenovo even designed a speaker inside the box to simulate a machine sound, which sounds pretty cool. As an eSport model, the phone features a 6.65 inch 144Hz 1080p AMOLED LED display with 240Hz sampling rate for fast response. No doubt the display is one of the best displays for mobile gaming. But if you're not just satisfied with playing games on such a small screen, the phone supports an extended projection mode to view the phone display content at the same time. You can connect a large screen with the included USB-C cable or through Wi-Fi based Miracast. In addition, to provide a more interesting way for gamers to play, the built-in game assistant software Legion Realm has plenty of gaming features and hardware features. For example, the phone supports a peripherals mode to simulate console game control by connecting the mouse, keyboards, or popular game pads like PS4 control and Xbox control. Gamers can turn on the mouse and keyboard mapping to operate FPS and MOBA games, which require complicated game operations, and even use mouse and keyboard to operate the phone at the overall system level. As a mobile gaming phone for daily use, whole performance of the Snapdragon 865 Plus would be performance wasted and lead to a heat problem if not for CPU management. Considering this point, Lenovo developed a well-functioned performance control system for different uses. In daily use, the CPU and GPU would remain at the standard mode to make sure that most apps could run smoothly so that the phone wouldn't heat up. For gaming, the game assistant called Legion Realm would automatically boost the performance in part to lead a balance of high performance and stable temperature. Under the auto mode, sometimes frequency reduction would automatically start from 120 FPS to 90 FPS and even down to 60 FPS, which does guarantee a stable frame rate level and the stable running temperature as well. But it does really damage our gaming experience as we play some games supporting high frame rate. So we suggest you to try the following option if you want to enjoy the full power of the 865 Plus. First, drag down the top wake of Legion Assistant and then click the Rampage button for a superb performance. 
The CPU and GPU can immediately rise up under the Rampage mode, the phone would heat up in a short time. Let's look at its actual performance in Auto mode and Rampage mode before gaming test. Let's check out our results of running typical benchmark apps. In Geekbench, the Auto mode scored 920 in single core test and scored 2727 in multi core test, which is not exactly a satisfying result for the Snapdragon 865 Plus. Then we turned on the Rampage mode. The improvement was more impressive, especially for multi-core score. It reached at over 3400, which is much better than what we got under the auto mode. And no doubt, it's the best results we've seen in Geekbench so far. And we moved to 3D Marks. The gaps between these two modes were pretty similar to what we had in Geekbench. And it's also the best results so far, even compared to other gaming phones released in the first half of 2020. Such as Black Shark 3 Pro and Red Magic 5G, the Legion phone running the 865 Plus still presented the remarkable improvement under the Rampage mode. In most games that we could find in Google Play Store, the phone could easily reach the best image fluency with the highest graphics. For example, in NBA 2K20, the device even reached at 120 FPS stably as turning on the Rampage mode. But when we played the game under the Auto mode, the curve of frame rate showed a stair-like drop from 120 FPS to 90 FPS and then remained stably at 60 FPS, while the temperature was well controlled under 40 degrees Celsius. In the international version of PUBG Mobile, the phone's frame rate could run at 60 FPS without any jank problem. And the 60 FPS was also the supported highest frame rate that we could run in the international version. So we turned to the Chinese version of PUBG Mobile game for peace. We found a way to boost the supported frame rate up to 120 FPS, under auto mode, the result was close to what we had in NBA 2K20, maintaining relatively stable running state with stair drops in 30 minutes gaming. While under Rampage mode, although the frame rate was a bit fluctuated, the phone eventually maintained at 119.1 FPS for average, which is definitely a better option to play such an exciting game. But please note that the sensible temperature of the back rose up to around 43 degrees Celsius in just 30 minutes of gaming, and the temperature of the side frame even reached at 45 degrees Celsius. And after we tested a few more games on this phone, the difference between these two modes was more remarkable. Accordingly, we suggested if you want to play casual games that require light performance of hardware, it's better to apply the auto mode to extend your battery life and cool down your device. On the contrary, if you are pursuing extremely high performance gameplay, the Rampage mode would definitely turn the phone into a beast, bringing you a super smooth gaming experience. Unfortunately, Lenovo hasn't released any official game accessories for the phone so far. So it's better to buy a third-party cooling fan if you are not satisfied with its cooling effect. About game operation, like most gaming phones, the Legion phone is also equipped with two shoulder buttons with adjustable press strength. In actual gaming, the shoulder buttons worked well but need gamers to hold the phone firmly and press the small sensible area correctly. Another highlight of gameplay should be the dual vibration motors, which could simulate various and accurate vibration as a professional gamepad can do. One more enjoyment for gaming is the phone stereo sounds coming out from the excellent stereo dual speakers. It was able to achieve an immersive experience without wearing earphones. And we can even play PUBG Mobile with these dual speakers and pinpoint the direction of gunfire, vehicles, and steps. Battery and charging should be the most surprising feature of the Legion Pro, 6,000 mAh battery with up to a 90 watt charging efficiency. It's almost the best power combination for a smartphone we've ever heard. But to achieve the best efficiency, you should charge the dual 3,000 mAh batteries with the included charger and cables at the same time. The full charge test was finished in 30 minutes, which is really crazy. Or you can use this single cable to achieve a 45 watt power input, which is really not bad at all. The 6000 mAh battery can be fully charged in around 65 minutes. So that's all the important detail you need to know about the excellent gaming phones. The 90 watt dual charging solution, the 144Hz refresh rate display, smart performance management and selfie camera designed for game streamers. You can have all the features on this aggressive gaming phone. So what else do you want to know about this phone or about the next comparison with ROG Phone 3? Just leave your comments below and let me know what you want to see. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Kieran from Gizmo China. We'll see you soon.